Hello viewers, we are going to discuss about problem 1.2 electrostatics or electric field and charge chapter grade 12 physics NCRT textbook. So we are given two spheres. This is sphere 1 and this is sphere 2. Sphere 1 has charge plus 0 0.4 microcoulomb that is 10 raised to minus 6 coulomb and the other sphere has charge 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulomb. The distance between them is unknown and that is what we are supposed to find out but they have given the force acting between them as 0.2 Newton. Now since one of the spheres is positive another is negative so both of them they are going to attract each other and this is force on one by two so the sphere two would be attracting one in this direction and this is force on two by one this direction okay. Now, as per Coulomb's law, we know that F12 is equal to F21. Magnitude wise, both the forces are equal, but direction wise, they are opposite. So, if I talk about magnitude, F12 is equal to F21. So, first thing is we know the magnitude that is 0.2 Newton. So, what will be the force on the second sphere due to the first gives the answer to our B part. Now, we know that the Coulomb's formula speaks about the force between both the charges. So its formula is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 upon r square. This force is given to us as 0 0.2 Newton. F12 or F21 is same as F generalizing. So the force between the spheres is given by F and that is 9 into 10 raised to 9. We know that in air or vacuum the value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon not is 10 raised to 9 into 9 and substituting the value 0 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 6 and here 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 upon r square. Now guys I want to make a point over here that when we are finding the magnitude of the force the signs do not matter. We are not supposed to plug in the signs. If whether it is positive or negative, we just are interested in finding the magnitude. When we are being asked to find the direction, at that time we will use vectors, but strictly no, no, we will not use the signs over here, we will just find the magnitude and we will write as attractive or repulsive for, this, repulsive for this particular problem. So from here, the value of r square will be 9 into 10 raised to 9 multiplied by 0.4 into 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 12 divided by the 0.2. So if you take root on both sides, you will get the value of R as 0.12 meters. Now since everything is in SI unit, we will get the value of the distance between the balls also in SI unit and this is the answer to our problem. Just one thing that you need to remember is that we should not plug the values of the charge in terms of signs. Just substitute the magnitude and the force can be written as 0 0.2 newtons attractive or repulsive. 